Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's readings, we see that the prophet Isaiah foretold that a light would arise to cast away the darkness. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. This image of darkness and of gloom refers to error, error in the mind with regard to the fundamental truths, the truths about God and the truth about man. The truth about God being Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the only true God, that there is only one God in three persons, and the truth about man, his origin having come from God, and his end that he is supposed to return to God, and the way to get there, namely through Jesus Christ, faith in him and following him, observing his commandments. So to not know that, to error in that regard, is to be walking in darkness. And those who dwelt in the lamb of, land of gloom, okay, dwelling in the land of gloom refers to the moral state of the soul. To live in the land of gloom means to live in the land of sin. So now we're talking not simply of an error in the mind, but of a malice or weakness of the will, of choosing to live in error of choosing to live according to sinful desires, of freely choosing to do that which we know is not good and is not the will of God. So it is in the midst of this that the light of the world would come to cast away the darkness and to relieve the gloominess and bring them abundant joy and great rejoicing. And this light of the world is the Lord, as the psalmist says today, the Lord is my light and my salvation. He is our light. He is the truth, as he himself said, I am the truth. Whoever is of the truth hears my voice. And so Jesus Christ dispels the darkness of error, of error in our minds with regard to these fundamental ultimate truths regarding ourselves and regarding God. And he is our salvation. That is, he is the one that frees us from the gloominess and the slavery and the death of sin by means of his grace. And now the entrance antiphon, which we actually didn't read or sing because we had the entrance hymn, says this, this is the Latin. Cantate Domino Canticum Novum, Cantate Domino Omnis Terra, Confessio et Pulcrituro in Conspectu Eus, Sanctitas et Magnificentia in Sanctificatione Eus. Okay, that's literally sing to the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song, all the earth, confess, that is, praise, confession, and beauty are in his sight, holiness and magnificence in his sanctification. And so that's what we talked about during this retreat, sanctitas, holiness, and our sanctification, sanctificatione, how this is the will of the Lord. Remember on the bulletins for the retreat. There's the quote from 1 Thess Thessalonians 4.3, which says, for this is the will of God, your sanctification. But this part of the entrance antiphon where it says, in sanctificatione eius, is, can also be translated in his holy place or in his sanctuary. Now that is here. This is the sanctuary of the church. This is the holy place of God. In the Old Testament, they had the holy of holies, where the presence of God for that time dwelt, the Ark of the Covenant. Here we have the, new, the Ark of the New Covenant, the tabernacle with the real 
true and substantial presence of God. So this is his holy place. This is his sanctuary. And this where we, is where we find, first and foremost, holiness and magnificence in his sight, in his presence. As we talked about during the retreat, the whole spiritual life must revolve around this, must have this as its center, its source and summit, the Eucharist. He is our God and he is our all. He is the one that can sanctify us and make us holy and pleasing in his sight. The light of the world who dispels the darkness of error, our salvation, our sanctification is here present among us. We need only to come to him to allow his light to shine upon us, to shine upon our minds and enlighten us. We need only his holiness, his grace to transform us into a new creation, holy and pleasing in the sight of God. So with gratitude and humility, remember the dispositions we talked about, we want to approach the holy altar of God with attention, with humility, gratitude, disposed to receive all of the goodness and all of the light which he wants to give us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.